welcome back so last video we went ahead and cut the body um, to fit um, after the video I went ahead and did my body post so all I did was grab the bag that uh, they give you with the limitless it has the infraction taller body post in it I went ahead and changed those and uh, set them on here set the body where I want it basically how I do it is I center the wheel to where I want the body to sit with it sitting on there I determine how far back and how far side to side equally spacing once I figure out how far back all I do is take a body reamer and I'll right above the body post of where it's pushing right in the center I'll mark it I'll mark it I'll only do the front two take the body off ream it out making sure that I have a tight fit and that it's not loose loosely done once I've uh, done that I'll then place the body back on making sure that my height is correct put them in put my pins in um, bend my pins if I have to this body's got a curve to it I can't go from this side so I have to go from the inner once I get the pins mounted up I'll switch over here to the back and like I said I took the infraction rear body post pushed it down centered left to right determined where I was cutting my body post making sure it was the same on both sides mark mark it take it off ream it out and that's it once I've done that then I'll determine the body post height right now I have the rear lower than the front as far as the body mounting now my chassis is raked forward and the reason I have it that way is for a turning radius. So I did notice with my suspension up, my droop, I clear perfectly. I do have a little bit of rubbing on this right front. It's a straight cut right there. I took a Sharpie. And I went ahead and marked where I want to trim out. Now, if you notice, I haven't trimmed it. Same thing on this side. There's a small mark. Same thing on this side. Small mark. And a small mark. Now, another thing you might notice is with my rear wing, I have my side plates on. What I did there was in these bodies which is pretty cool um, they have some marks on the back of the body cutout marks um, for the rear wing I went ahead and noticed that the cutouts were there and that this wasn't going to protrude well into the wheel well so with that I laid my plate on the side right here with the body still in hole I took a sharpie and I marked it same thing with this side so I went ahead pushed it tight against the back of the body took a sharpie marked it laid it flat over here because we know that it's going to be flat to this wing and then I marked it the only thing I didn't know was the depth how far because these lines here that are in the body are pretty far up and pretty wide I don't want that big gap in there so I fitted it tight once I did that these were a lot longer they were almost touching the ground from where they wanted me to cut it so all I did was take the same angle trimmed it up higher to my body line here so I did make those changes and 
I still have this on the inside. Now, I might cut these out. I might just drill holes in them to relieve air. But looking at the diffuser here, I might just leave it the way it is. I don't think it's going to catch air. GoPro cut off again. But I don't think it's going to catch air in the back. But we'll see after I run it. I'll make some marks and see if uh, if that's happened. I just finished taking my Dremel and doing these cuts right and left and temporarily mounted up the Basher Queen's side plates. So now I've got the, the complete limitless rear wing mounted on the back of this body, um, which I haven't seen anybody do yet. Um, I Like I said, I saw Innovation. He went ahead and mounted up, left the center supports and put his own style wing here. Um, but me, I want to be different. I definitely want to keep, I figure this air is going to come up. It's going to come down. We're going to have some downforce. We're going to go ahead and trim this. I don't know how flat we're going to trim it, but we're going to trim it. And then I have my stabilizer wings on now. So now I'm not going to get wiggle in the back um, at higher speeds. And that's why I wanted these uh, Basha Queen side plates. Another thing I noticed was right here, there's a label that says inside. And on this side, there's a label here that says inside. I can't take this label and put it to the inside because it's two right hand wings. I don't know why the Basher Queen, I think she just made a mistake. They can go in or out or you just leave it this direction and move it to the other side. Same direction, just move it to the other side. It's carbon on both sides. So I don't know why it's marked inside. I can't put this inside or I'd have basically two right hand side um, side plates, wing plates. So not sure about that. So now that I've got everything fit it i'm going to go ahead and pop this body off now i haven't tried taking the body off since i've made these cuts i'm kind of curious on how it's going to work so and i've got these fitted really snugly um because i kept the bottom um, support brackets and I've got it basically zero tolerance against the front splitter so basically let's see how this does so lift up let's lift up on the rear if I can so this one seems to be hanging up on this body post. Oh, so I'm gonna have to open that up with a reamer just a little bit more. I'll have to open this hole up, these two holes up just a little more. They're a little too snug. But there, the body is off. So I wanna show you guys a couple more things. I've got my battery tray fitted. And the other thing, that I worked on. I had to go to uh, Home Depot to get some more of these cutting discs uh, because I had ran run out because I needed to trim up a battery tray for this side. Even though the battery tray is not there, I need this edge. And once I did that, you saw this was Velcroed in. Well, I just took the ESC that's two-sided or Velcroed down. So it's Velcroed down. I've taken it and I've uh, bolted it right here. Another thing I'm noticing right now that I've taken off the fan is that the cover to the ASC which is this cover that I removed 
is uh, is now making the top part split. So I'm going to have to put this cap back on. So all I'm going to do is take out the fan from the center of it. And then we're going to take the game changer back off. We're going to pop this back on. And then I'm going to bolt the game changer through the center here. Yeah, that's going to be the best. So let me see if I can do that real quick. This has got to go under that, like that, and then I should have four bolts here so that the ESC lid won't separate. Now I have seen people just cut it here, cut it here to take the fan cover off. And I guess they leave the support there to hold it on. But I would imagine in a pretty bad crash that that could still pull off. Because basically that's just holding the heat sink cover down. And hopefully my fan will fit. If not, we will trim it down, trim this housing down. It's a low profile fan. I should. Well, it cut out again. So I'm going to give this a trim. Trying to take the locks off to fit the fan inside. And then I'll have to cut this down a little bit so that uh, my wire will fit through. There we go. So that worked out. Now we're nice and secure with the bolt here. And the ESC is not going anywhere now. So I did trim down the battery tray to give me this edge so that I could put the bottom trim piece on. Which is basically from Basher Queen, these pieces. Bender side skirt. Now I'm not going to install the carbon fiber ones here. 
because I'm going to install the infraction wide ones. I have them in aluminum. I'm looking for some carbon fiber ones. I'm going to see if I can get a hold of Basher Queen and see if she makes these for the infraction, the wide ones, um, to uh, get rid of this space to the edge of the body. Now that we completed that, I have one more task right here. I've got some damage on this protector from when it flipped over and damaged this thing. So my plans were to replace it because I have new ones. But I think I'm gonna do that after I finish cleaning up. And here's the way the body looks, all cut up. So we have to clean up this edge on the inside, not necessarily the outside. this is the protective coating that's on the outside of these bodies take an exacto knife instead of your nail but on melted plastic I just use my nail Got dust and dirt everywhere. So Basher Queen did respond to these holes. It was just like RC Guy Garage said. Those are just two holes that hold the carbon down on her machine to do the cut. And I guess that's how she gets exact cuts. But when you put the stock limitless nose on it covers those holes what i'm going to do is i'll probably end up using these holes for little studs and little nuts to hold the front nose down just make sure you take your time with fitment so the worst thing to do is paint the body and then realize you need to make more cuts. I need to open up these holes in the back a little bit more.
still a little tight. on back goes on pretty perfectly now grindings and the dirt off even though this has got a protective cover you don't want to end up touching it and then touching the inside or something like that and just get a bunch of dust everywhere So I'm just giving it a quick little wipe down just to try to keep the dirt to a minimum. So another thing I did was trim this rear wing so that I do get that real tight fitment right there. But it's not actually going to score up the body. Somebody was asking what kind of body this is. It is a Delta Plastics body. Proline makes one. Proline's uh, body is very thin compared to the Delta Plastics uh, two millimeter body, which is what this is, two millimeter body. And there we go. Now the last step that I need to do is just sand down some of these edges and we're going to wash and scuff the body and we're going to get ready for paint. And that's it. So there we go. Let me uh, know what you think. Everything's on now battery trays on all the electronics are on everything's wired everything is in place um, this is basically the way it's going to be other than the side skirts I do have wings to put on too and the perfect pass so perfect pass and wings which comes with all the hardware so we can get those put on Hardware out. And then these are nicely beveled and flat on the one side. This one will go there. So this brand is way better.
I don't know who made these. I got them at my local hobby shop. But the machine work is way better than the ones I had on here before. They're countersunk, they're tapered along the edges, they won't grab anything. Um, definitely a lot better than the other ones I had on here. They fit right into the slots. beveled they won't catch anything and these come with hardware where the last ones did it so there we go we got the bat wings on and it's not to a point up here the point's been cut down definitely uh, look better than the last set I had on here by a company we shall not name. So the next thing we're gonna do is get this perfect pass deal um, mounted on here. Um, it's gonna go right on top of the receiver box. That's where he recommended to put it. I do have a drift gyro in here as well, which is hooked to the steering. And now this will be hooked to the throttle. So theoretically, this thing should be a robot and drive itself. But there we go, guys. This build is coming to an end. So I wanna thank everybody for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. We will see you guys on my next video. And I will be posting up the chassis reassembly in a two-part series coming up here very soon. Um, the video was so long, um, I can't download it that way. It's two, two hours of footage that I cut down to, I want to say, about an hour. So I'm going to do two 30-minute um, sessions of uh, building this RC. But there we go. Other than a test rip, Everything else is done on this thing. We are going to paint it. Go down to the last video, which is video number two, where I ask you guys what color we should paint this thing. Um, I'm going to take a poll, and then we're going to paint it that color. Something bright, preferably, because I am blind. Um, but if you guys pick black, you pick black. It is what it is. Um, I'll put an orange stripe or something on it. I, I don't know. But, you know, orange, yellow, green you know, bright purple, pink. Uh, let me know uh, what color you guys want it after we get it painted. Here's the decal sheet. So it is a lot of dark colors. So these are the window blocks, which I will be putting on because I will have clear windows. So tail lights are dark. So any light color on this thing would probably look good with the decal sheet. Anyhow, thanks a lot for watching. Basher Queen stuff all fit perfectly. Game Changer fans all fit phenomenally. And uh, I think it's looking great. So other than that, I'm out of parts. So we'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching.